公平见证，联合国、中国围绕中国空军站开展空军科学实验合作的首批入选项目发布。Welcome to today's event. Today we will witness the announcement of UN China selected space science experiments on board China Space Station for the first cycle. 在人旁边是人类文明向地外拓展的伟大事业。半个多世纪以来，这一事业的发展不断引领着科技创新和技术应用，取得了伟大成就，使我们的生活受益匪浅，对人人类社会发展产生了积极深远的影响。Human spaceflight, a workforce for human civilization, extended beyond the Earth. For half a century, it serves as the driving force for scientific and technological innovation and application, and benefits its people's lives with great outcomes, and exerts positive and far-fetching effect on human society. China's Space Station's goal is to protect the Earth's people from harm. This is a core principle of the UN Human Rights Council. China's Space Station's goal is to protect the Earth's people. 愿意继续坚持和平利用、平等互利、共同发展的原则，继续与世界上其他致力于和平利用外空的国家和地区进行交流合作。It is the principle of China's human spaceflight activities to peacefully utilize the outer space and to benefit all humankind, which is in line with the UN consistent position. China Manned Space Agency is willing to uphold the principle of peaceful utilization. Equality and mutual benefits and common development to carry out the exchanges and cooperation with countries and the regions that are committed to the peaceful utilization of outer space. Today, we are pleased to see that from countries and different cultures and different cultures, scientists are working on space science research. In the next step, we will support the launch of the project and the development of the project. We will also collaborate with the United States government and the United States government to further complete the project. Today, we are pleased to have scientists coming from different countries, ethnicities, and cultures who will carry out space science experiments on board China's space station. For next step, we will support the selected teams to implement their projects, and meanwhile, in close collaboration with UNISA to further perfect and issue the second cycle of announcement of opportunity. Two 自从我们以国感为勇气，开启探索宇宙的征途开始，这份伟大事业便凝聚了全世界人民的美好向往。在这份向往中，我们应该追求国际合作的包容式进步，我们应该追求科学技术的创新应用，我们应该追求航天知识的广泛普及。Sky above, stars twinkling. Ever since we embarked on the journey of space exploration with courage and resolution. This great force is filled with the beautiful hopes of people around the world. For these hopes, we are in pursuit of the inclusive progress of international cooperation, the innovative application of science and technology, and the intensive popularization of the knowledge about space. I believe that today's success is only the beginning of a great journey. In the future, we can do more and more. Thank you very much. I believe what we achieved today is just a nice beginning. And there's more and more to come in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, as was said, the announcement of opportunity was uh, last year. Uh, and we were um, extremely surprised uh, to have received 42 applications from different groups. Uh, this uh, was a sudden Space sector is thriving, and technologies have seen great progress since the first satellite was launched. Yet there are still millions of people who lack access to even the basic benefits of space technologies. 
bridge this gap in capabilities, the office launch with the access to space for all initiative that is offering a wide range of opportunities in microgravity research, satellite development and deployment, in orbit research and access to labs in lower orbit. Partnering with the China Man Space Agency to open the China Space Station to all the member states of the United Nations is an important building block of the initiative and serves as a great example of triangular cooperation, working together to unlock access to space-based benefits to an ever-growing number of countries and their people, contributing to the fulfillment of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. As an outcome for the, from the application and selection process, nine projects were selected in this cycle for implementation on board the China Space Station including three that will be asked to update their respective submissions. These nine proposals involve 23 institutions from 17 member states in the asia pacific region, Europe, Africa, North America, and South America. They come from governmental organizations, private entities, and international associations. It is indeed great to see that most of the projects are collaborative international efforts. The research areas involve space life science, biotechnology, microgravity fluid physics, microgravity combustion, sorry, astronomy, and space technologies. So I have the pleasure to announce the selected experiments to be flown on board the China Space Station for the first cycle. The following six proposals are fully accepted. Number one, Polar 2, Gamma Ray Bus Polar Imagery on the China Space Station. This is an experiment in astronomy in space. It is applied and will be implemented by four institutions from four countries, which are the University of Geneva from Switzerland, the National Center for Nuclear Research of Poland, Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics of Germany and the Institute of High Energy Physics of the Chinese Academy of Science. Number two, spectroscopic investigation on nebular gas. This is an experiment in astronomy. It was applied and will be implemented by two institutions from two countries, which are the Indian Institute of Astrophysics in the Institute of Astronomy of the Russian Academy of Sciences. Number three, behavior of partially miscible fluid in microgravity. This is an experiment in microgravity fluid physics. It was applied and will be implemented by two organizations from two countries, namely the Indian Institute of Technology and the University of League de Bruxelles in Belgium. Number four, flame instabilities affected by vortices in acoustic waves. This is an experiment in microgravity fluid physics. It was jointly applied and will be jointly implemented by two institutions from two countries, which are the Tsinghua University from China and the University of Tokyo from Japan. Number five, tumors in space signatures of early mutational events due to spaceflight conditions on 3D organoid cultures derived from intra-individual LP and tumor tissue. This is an experiment project <coughs> in space life science and biotechnology. It was jointly applied and will be jointly implemented by four institutions from four countries, namely the Norwegian University of Science and Technology, International Space University, the Free University of Amsterdam in the Netherlands, and the Belgian Nuclear Research Center. Now I would like to give the floor to Mr. Hao to announce the remaining. Please, Mr. Hao. Now I continue announcing.
Number six, effect of microgravity on the growth and the biofilm production of disease causing bacteria. This is an experiment project in space life sciences and biotechnology. It was jointly applied and will be jointly implemented by the Mars Society, Peru chapter, and Mars Society, Spain chapter. And the following three proposals are conditionally accepted, which signifies that the applicants will be given the opportunity to update their respective proposal and to be confirmed with the result in due course. Number seven, made infrared platform for Earth observations. This is an experiment project in Earth science and space. It was jointly applied and will be jointly implemented by the two organizations from one country, which are the National Institute of Astrophysics, Optics, and Electronics, and Benimedia Universidad Autónoma de Puebla from Mexico. And number eight, development of multi-junction gallium arsenide solar cells for space applications. This is an experiment project in space utilization technology. It was jointly applied and will be jointly implemented by two institutions from one country, which are the National Center for Nanotechnology and Advanced Materials and the King Abdulaziz City for Science and Technology from Saudi Arabia. And number nine, Baridi Sana, high performance micro two phase cooling system for space applications. This is an experiment in microgravity fluid physics and combustion. It was applied and will be implemented by two institutions from two countries which are the Sapienza University of Rome in Italy and the Machacos University in Canada. And now I'd like to give back the floor to Director Di Pippo to deliver the closing remarks. Thank you very much. And after today's announcement, each team will be formally notified of their selection results. And CNSA will invite the winners to negotiate the labor agreements towards a smooth preparation and execution for their experiments on board the China Space Station. So congratulations to those nine teams. We trust that they will take full advantage of this unique opportunity, and we look forward to the successful results. The office invites the 33 other applicants not selected in this cycle to consolidate their respective projects and take advantage of the next announcement of opportunity. As I mentioned earlier, this first round of the United Nations China cooperation on the utilization of the China Space Station is one element of the Access to Space for All initiative. And our collaboration with CMSA goes beyond this unique program. With CMSA, the office will be creating an environment where the high scientific outcomes of those nine projects and other efforts to come impact the international community. We will work together to create an even more accessible program for developing countries, helping interest consortia in preparing solid projects uh, through capacity building activities and more tripartite exchanges. With this program and others of the office, we aim to offer a range of space-based solutions and opportunities that would foster space science in developing countries, from making space science studies attractive to you to more solid institutions. Again, my sincere gratitude is extended to the government of China and the China Manning Space Agency for its ongoing significant contribution and the great support to the work of the office. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody, for your intervention. Uh, as you just heard, the news is so fresh that even the winners were not notified yet. Uh, this will happen in the next few days. And uh, in the next few days also, we, we have on the UN USA website a little bit more description of each project uh, for your interest and, and contact information. 
So uh, you are invited now by uh, our colleagues from CNC to join us to a uh, light lunch on the second floor next to the cafeteria. There should be a sign and a uh, food for you. Thank you very much.